U.S. News World Report just released their new best states ranking, and they have bad news for the state of California. Despite having a powerful economy, the most fertile farmland in the world, probably the prettiest physical environment on planet Earth, California was rated dead last in quality of life, if you can even believe it. Ethan Behrman is a California radio host. He still lives there. He joins us tonight. Ethan, how do you take a place that was world famous as Eden and in 50 years make it the worst place in America? And please don't blame others. Like, the people who run the state should take, I, I think, responsibility for that, don't you? Well, it's a complicated issue. Here, we specifically have the issue, if you're going to go 50 years, Tucker, uh, the population has well more than doubled in that time. Um, and oh. because uh, we have all the natural beauty, we have mountains, Where do they we have come from? Hold on. Where did the majority, in the past 30 years, where did the majority of those people come from? Do they come from the Midwest? Or these, no, they, they came from a third world country. Do you think it might have something to do with it? Uh, I think that that is a very complicated issue. If you look in Silicon Valley in particular, Tucker, since you were just talking about the booming Silicon Valley, that is a lot of coming from South Asia, from yeah, China, that's from true. countries that, that you might you might think are, are poor, but they've come in and they've contributed and they've built tremendous businesses. We have a massive Sikh community. We have a, a they've Korean been, they've community. Been they've been great. They've been great. And they represent a tiny percentage of the population of California. The overwhelming majority have come from Latin America. And a lot of them are awesome people and smart and add a lot. And even the super poor ones, I think a lot of them are really great people. But mm -hmm. the truth is, if you import millions of really poor people with no education, doesn't mean they're bad people, but maybe your state gets a lot more like the countries they left. Can we admit that? Or are we pretending that's not true still? Well, I I don't think I agree with you because remember the cost of living here is extremely high. That is, when you look at that oh. U.S. News and World Report report and you look at how they measure what you just talked about, quality of life, it's cost of living is what's throwing us way so out of So maybe too you know many people came over the border here. and the state is totally overpopulated and you're dealing with the normal problems no. that come with overpopulation like really expensive housing prices, no? No, no, part of our problem here actually oh. is a little bit of nimbyism. We love our green space, so we restrict development. And anytime you restrict development, you're a free market guy. Really, green space. You know space. that that causes prices to go up. So yeah, I want to show like you a picture that a friend here. of mine took last week. He works downtown San Francisco, two blocks from Uber. This is the street right in front of his office. I think it's Market Street in San Francisco, one of the richest cities in the world. Those are hypodermic needles. They're syringes that heroin addicts left there. Um, that's not green space. That's filth. And why would anybody, look, if your city looks like that, you've failed. Can't we just admit that? Or are we still pretending that's progress? Uh, I, I think that there is a real significant issue that is happening in California that uh, one eighth of our homeless population, we know this from the surveys, they come here from elsewhere. This is actually a federal issue that Californians are having to deal with because oh. you don't die in a nor'easter here, Tucker, in Minneapolis where I grew up, people die because they freeze to death. But so if why, why be, doesn't, wait, hold on, why doesn't Houston's more temperate even than San Francisco? But Houston doesn't look like that. It's kind of weird. I mean, you think if it was just like the weather, that Houston, which is bigger, of course, than San Francisco by a factor of five or whatever, would have, you know, a lot more hypodermic deals, but wait, there are none. Why is that? Any idea? So we, uh, we have uh, more lenient drug laws here, and we oh. always have, but we also- It's run by liberals we also have who are good at running things. We, 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 we have a problem, though. The, the opioid epidemic right now, Tucker, so if you're going to point out hypodermic needles, 65,000 people a year are dying right now because of that. I'm Heroin and the opioid epidemic plays into all of that, including rural Kentucky and rural Ohio. But because None of which look San like Francisco that, is a big target, then you can point out San Francisco. Okay, let me just ask you quickly. So you won't concede that unrestrained immigration has affected the poverty level in California, the crowding in California, the rising housing prices in California. The millions of poor people coming to the state have had no bad effects at all. Will you concede that unrestrained immigration in California has had any downside at all? Any? Yes, the biggest downside is the criminal element likes to prey on them, and we've had a real problem in Oh, they're California. the victims. Uh, in <laughs> this is like a parody. No, absolutely. I love it. Yeah. So is that no Kate question, Steinle a lot who's of the abuse victim? That happens. And, and it's the illegal. And this is why oh. we need to. This is, but this is why we need Congress to deal with the immigration issue. We need a solution. The president brought all to the protect leaders the together immigrants. into the White House. He, he told them to make a deal and even said he would take the heat. Yet the Republicans oh, have chosen okay. not to do anything about it. Okay. Unfortunately, we're out of time because that's actually one of the more hilarious conversations I've ever had. I hope you will come back. Ethan, it's great to see you.